Hello everyone. I just wanted to uh, show everybody a modification that I did on the, the GoPro uh, wrist strap. Uh, yesterday I went and bought one from Best Buy and I just wasn't satisfied with it. I couldn't understand why they didn't put a, a J mount on it to make it more adjustable. So I want to show you kind of what I did. And what you're going to need is the GoPro wrist strap and this is for the Hero 3 and uh, also you'll need the headband uh, mount and what I did is kind of incorporated both of those together so anyway here's kind of showing what I did it's this is uh this is the GoPro wrist mount with everything taken off and this right here yeah, I disassembled the uh, the headband mount, and this is the actual hardware for the he the headband mount. So this is what I did, and by the way, I'm uh, recording this with the GoPro uh, Hero 3 right now, and I'm going to switch over to a different uh, video camera so I can uh, show you the uh, camera, you know, installed on the wrist strap. So anyway, first of all. I hope y'all can see this okay. It goes kind of like this. You can see it. This, let's see if I get this right. Yeah, that's right. This piece right here goes through here. Okay, and then you come around through the the buckle, buckle loop, and pull it through, and, and pull it as tight as you can, right against there, fold it around the back, okay, so it looks like that, and it's still loose right there, okay, the next thing, you have to use a really strong type of line, this is from a, 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 a kite boarding kite line, but it's really, really strong and it's not going to break. Tie a square knot in it. And take that. And I put the knot behind the Velcro right there. So if you can see this okay. Actually, first you need to uh, wrap it around the mount right here. Like this. And then... Pull it through here. Now you have to make this kind of the right length. You'll have to experiment to get that the right length. It comes around like this. And you just velcro on top of that. Okay, so now you have this. Alright, and then I took the this little strap here that comes with it, the wrist strap. And I Put this underneath this and slide it back as far as you can go with it. And then, and then it uh, velcro it. Actually, I think it's be I think I had it bended right here, like this. And then I put it underneath this and put it under there a good way so part of the velcro catches underneath it. So it's going to end up looking like this. It's, it's catching underneath it also, and then it comes out to here. So this is what you end up with. And I'll put it on my wrist to show you kind of what it looks like without the camera. So this goes on like it normally would. And then you come around. Actually, first you need to pull this back a little way so you can hook onto the velcro hold it like this place it on your arm and 
hook it in tight, and this piece comes over here. But basically, it's like this. So you have a J. This is a this is a J mount right here. But basically, that's what you've got. Then you attach your camera right here. Like I said, I only have one camera, so I'm going to switch to another video camera so I can show exactly what it looks like with the camera on it. All right, and then take it off. Just go to reverse. And that's it. Right there. And then I was thinking I've got all these other parts that I can't use. So what I did was uh, this is the uh, this is actually let's see this is the headband that came off the headband mount, and this right here is the um, is the part that comes is on the back with the with the strap that goes over the top. So what I did was I had an extra J hook and I adhered it onto that piece and then just slid the band uh, through through the uh, the J the, uh, the the part that goes on the back there and, that, and I adhered the uh, J hook to it and actually later uh, I haven't done it yet but I'm going to put a leash and we'll tie it right around here and then and then tie it right down into one of the slots where the, the, the elastic band goes in there and tie it off so that way if this ever came loose I wouldn't lose the camera. And to be honest with you I didn't like the top strap anyway so I took it off before I even came up with this idea. And then I was thinking well I've got the whole housing that I, I can't do anything with. So what I did then was I, um, this, this was difficult to do, it took me about an hour to figure it out, all the different way it loops through there. But I made another wrist strap out of the housing that the, uh, the wrist strap house, the wrist strap little kit comes with. So in this right here, this is, is a strap that goes over the top off of the headband, and uh, you have to feed it through here a certain way. And I don't even know if I can do it again, but I'm gonna you'll just have to experiment with it. But this is um, I'm gonna try to get let you see exactly how it goes through there. This is it right here. And uh, it works pretty good, actually. It works almost as well as the original. Um, I don't know. I guess it won't stay tight uh, any longer than the elastic lasts, but uh, you know, it works for now. So let me see if I can give you another back view of it. There you go. And that just slides down on the little hook that comes with it. And let me show you what it's like when you put it on. And this probably won't work for you. There's only a little bit so much of this elastic material. Oh, let me show you the backside how it finally came through at the very end of the loop. You can see that. And like, a, if you have a really big hand or wrist, this might not work because there was only so much elastic uh, from the top strap off of the, uh, the, the headband mount. But anyway, I'll show you. Uh, it works pretty good, actually. You just um, Put your hand through here, like this. And then you just pull it around and hook that hook on it. There it is. So actually, with two different uh, items, you can have this, which I like the best. I like it better than this, with the J mount on it. And then you've got your headband back, and this, you know, from the, the back buckle that goes uh, behind the head. And uh, I guess that's about it. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to switch to the other camera now, and I'm going to um, uh, just show you how well this works with the camera on it. And also, this works really well with uh, the backpacks. I mean, you can use the floaty with it because if you can put an extra hook on here, it's got plenty of room underneath it. And also, uh, with the uh, the LCD display. So anyway, I'll be right back. I'll uh, I'll show you what it looks like with the camera on it. Okay, first uh, I want to show you what it looks like with uh, with the floaty on it. I'm gonna put it on my wrist and show you. There you 
you go. Just with a floaty on it. Nice and snug. You can push it up. And you have to put that extension in there to get this to work. So And I don't think I need to put the backpack on there because uh, the LCD backpack because it looks about the same as this. I'll tell you what, let me actually put that on there. I'll show you what that looks like. And there it is with the back, the uh, LCD backpack. And it flips right up. You can actually leave this a little tight, and, it, and it, it'll actually flip up and flip down, still pretty easily. But then it'll stay where it is, like that. Okay, and let me just put the uh, the normal flat back on it. Let's see, let me find one here. This is one right here. And also, if, if that's all you're doing, you can probably just do away with that one extension on it. I took the extension off. It lays perfectly flat, I'm pretty close to it. There you have it. That's without the, any type of uh, extended back on it. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to anybody 
that was not satisfied with the, the wrist strap and the, uh, the headband assembly only costs like $15 so it's real easy to do and uh, it's not very expensive. So you actually you get this which I really like. You get a headband. You don't have the piece that comes over but I didn't like that anyway. And, uh, and then you've got another another wrist strap with the original housing um, from, the, from the wrist strap assembly. So anyway, hope that helped somebody and I'm going to uh, probably, I tell you I will, I'll, I'm going I'm to show you all how this actually can be used as a tripod on a flat surface. So I'm going to move the camera over there and show you that and that's it. Thanks. Okay, here it is on the uh, on the wrist strap, using it sort of like a tripod. This is in the front of my car, and you can adjust it however you want it. And it's pretty daggone stable. So anyway, everybody, take care.